Hello everybody. Good morning, Rose here. So today I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream that I believe she did last night called Orange Julep. Uh, I just woke up this morning. As you guys know, I just arrived at the Pacific Northwest in Washington and I've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes, just trying to get ready to come back on YouTube. Came back on last night, spent some time in Gary and Filter's room, had a good time, had a good laugh. And now I got to try to catch up to at least some of Foodie Beauty's content. So I was scanning through it this morning and she's done a lot of live streams. But the trick is finding the ones that matter versus the ones that don't. So it looks like she went to Orange Julep and she had herself a little rage. I think that's entertaining at least mostly entertaining by foodie standards. So let's just start there. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to catch up on. So might as well just start with the stuff that matters. So here's Miss Foodie. She's at the orange tulip and she's gonna have herself a little mini rage, is she? Just gonna have herself a little hissy fit because there are people actually there and in line and she just can't deal with it. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Way too fucking time. Where's the drive through I'm getting McDonald's. I don't fucking care. So, what are you doing? Is it a parking lot? You don't just hang out in a parking lot. Like, so many people just hang out here for no reason. Not foodie criticizing people for hanging out in a parking lot. When this woman makes a point to sit in parking lots and do her mukbangs. Foodie, have you forgotten about that? The fact that you will get fast food and sit in a parking lot and do mukbangs and talk to people. All the drive throughs closed, so you can't get any food anywhere in fucking Montreal! Hi guys. The fucking drive through is closed. I'm going in the fucking store then. Fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> I fucking hate Montreal. What can I get right now? I'm starving. Like, I'm legit. By the way, Foodie, I'm like, I'm out of the loop. I've been out of the loop for a couple of days. You say you hate Montreal. What are you doing in Montreal? You live in Ottawa. What are you doing in Montreal? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna have found any fucking food around here. Fuck. I'm going to find food. Watch me lot. Because you should see the line of orange julep. It's like out the asshole. It's like, it would be at least a two hour wait. I'm just never, ever, no fucking way in hell. It's Friday night in Montreal. I mean, what do I expect? Well, a lot more than this shit. Yeah, you know what, foodie? You know, just to put things in perspective for you, it's Friday night in Montreal. Montreal is a very popular place. It's I hear it's the, the city. And any kind of major area like the city, it's always going to be busy. I mean, I'm out of California now, but you should see L.A. The traffic in L.A. around 2 or 3 in the morning, it's like rush hour traffic somewhere else, like 6 o'clock. It's, it's literally that bad. Like, there's a lot of clubs and stuff in L.A. And, you know, like if you're going to a club at night, 2 or 3 in the morning, it's, it's major rush hour traffic all the way there and all the way back because it's L.A. So I imagine that Montreal maybe may not be as bad as all that. But it's still going to be busy. I mean, it's Friday night. People get out and do things. They experience life. And you're being inconvenienced. And you're getting mad just because other people are going out and having a good time. I'm never moving here. I will be fucking alone in my life. I fucking hate people. Head northwest toward Rupari. Then turn right onto Rupari. I'm not going home. I want fucking home. Something to eat. The route avoids road closures in nine kilometers. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 12 minutes, 8 a.m. 
Turn right onto Rue Paré, then turn right onto Boulevard de Paris. Take the next right onto Boulevard de Paris. Why did I fucking go live right now? Like, I should have waited because, like, I got the orange julep and it is fucking, like, people like to, like, men come here with small dicks or something and rev their engines and fucking do whatever with their cars. Like, they think they're big shit. Like, ugh. And you come to Montreal thinking you're a big shit. Like, I'm a big deal. I'm a YouTube personality. <laughs> Everybody should just bow down when Chantal Marie comes to town. So I guess this is the live stream that happened after she went to the orange stool up and I heard she had a little mini rage there because there was a line there too. It's like two hours, fuck. I just want to get something to eat. Like, it's so fucking impossible to even do fuck all around here. So being a pain in the fucking ass. Like, even getting on the highway is a pain in the ass in Montreal. I don't know if you guys, like, if you're not- You know, I wonder if she's big mad because she planned on doing a mukbang and catering to the feeders again. Oh, I have to do a proper mukbang to cater to all the feeders to come to my channel. And then give me all the extra money on the side. Is that why you're mad, Booty? Because if, if you were really hungry, I'm sure there are lots of gas stations, convenience stores with plenty of food. So if you're starving, you know, there's always a way around everything. On a driver, it's different. Like, in 400 meters, use the left lane to take the auto route 15 sub ramp. So I'm going to try a shawarma place that's like. And then I can finally eat and talk to you guys. Like, I have stuff to talk about, fuck. I can't even get to the fucking highway right now. I'm starving. So, lesson learned, never do anything on weekends where everyone else does shit. I will never do it again. I will never. I'm getting like five shawarmas, I'm fucking hungry. Use the left lane to take the auto route 15 set ramp, then merge onto auto route. You would get five swarmers without being hungry. 15 set. Continue on auto route 15 set for four kilometers. Give me some time. And I have all my boyfriends messaging me at the same time, stressing me out. What? You have what? Five boyfriends. So you got five boyfriends? And you want them to commit to you? <laughs> Man, what did I wake up to this morning? It is literally like not even six o'clock in the morning. I wake up to her getting mad and talking about five boyfriends. That's funny. I'm not even kidding, they're stressing me out because honestly, like, they don't know about each other. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They're all worried about my well being in Montreal right now. No, they don't. They worry about the money in your pocket. No, I'm trying to find food. Another bottle, I swear, if this is another bottleneck, I will lose my shit. And lose it. Lose it. Lose it. I'm just hungry. There's like, this is a huge city with lots of restaurants. But you know what the problem is? There's no parking anywhere. Never any parking. There's about 800 civilians crossing the street at one time. <laughs> you can beat this shit. 1.8 kilometers still to go. 
everything is 20 minutes in Montreal, but it takes 30,000 years to get where you want to Oh, Dr. Agathon Carver has a very interesting comment. She says, how do you keep your makeup perfect after a hot hanky-panky session? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Ladies, in my chat, if you've had a hot hanky-panky session, is your makeup perfect afterwards? Um, no, no, it's not. It's ridiculous. astounding it's really quite astounding because you invent multiple men that you say fawn all over you they're just chasing after you and then you go a step further and say they're all concerned for you my five boyfriends are so concerned for me so not only do you want guys fawning all over you multiple guys chasing you but not only are they chasing you they're concerned for your welfare. Girl, come on. Really? I know you're like thinking like I know some people were like thinking like uh, oh you should let them know there's a lot more variety for men here, I guess, and there you go. He's going to be coming next week to me. Renting a hotel. So there you go. Again, not time to take the hotel, too. So there you go. In 800 meters, we're in charge of Quebec 136. I guess I'm just, I'm just not too old. Just kidding. You know, not to be rude, foodie, but you said yourself you are 473 pounds. I seriously doubt you're starving. Seriously doubt that. You may be very, 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 very hungry, but you're not starving. something else for you foodie if you've got five boyfriends you got five lovers that you're meeting up with you know you're just going back and forth with all these men and you're having all these good times why are you raging i would think getting all that booty will put you in a better mood but you're raging more than ever i mean i've been gone for a couple of days and you're still raging so either one of two things is going on here, madam. Either you're not getting the booty that you say you are, or it's not that good. It can't be that good. Because if you've got you've got someone who's a good lover, just one, that's going to put you in a good mood for days. Or do you not know that? You can't know that if you're raging. you got five boyfriends. You're switching them back and forth, changing them out like underwear. And not only are you getting the good booty, but they're all so concerned about you. 
What's with the crabby mood? Seriously. Like good booty puts you in a good mood for a while, but I guess you ain't getting that. In 800 meters, take exit 320 Montreal, Centerville. Uh, I'm right back into the downtown Montreal. Why am I doing this? Just for fucking shawarma. I'm starving for shawarma. And I, I'm not going to order the julep. Do you know how fucking long the lineup was at Orange Julep? You have to go at Orange Julep on like a Tuesday at like fucking 1 a.m. Take exit 3. You know, I don't think it's the line that bothered Foodie. It's being around actual people that can see her without the filters. You know, I understand that there are people in the world, they don't like waiting in line. I know quite a few people like that. They just can't stand waiting in line. But in Foodie's case, I just, I don't think she's comfortable in her own skin. I think it bothers her to have people see her as she really is. She just doesn't feel secure in herself. And the more people that are around, the more she hates it. And that's why she's mad. The fact that she's in Montreal, which is a big city. It's Friday night. Of course, people are gonna be out partying, socializing, having a good time, like normal people do. And she expects it on a Friday night in a big city and anywhere she wants to go, there's going to be no line. There's going to be nobody around. Sorry, foodie. Normal people do normal Friday night things. Just going to have to deal with it. You have, If you want to be happy in life, you need to do everything at the opposite times of every single human being on the planet. 300 meters. That's no, not true. Not true. You just got to be in a state of body and mind to where you can go out and do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. Like I just arrived in the Pacific Northwest and it's so gorgeous here, foodie. It is on the way up here. I was like, oh my God, what a beautiful, beautiful place. I can see why the people who live here, why they live here and why other people want to move here. It's gorgeous. It's so much nicer than California. No shade on anybody who lives in Cali, but it's beautiful here. And I can't wait to go out and do things here, like be outside the house. And you live in Canada. Canada is amazing looking. Never been there, but it looks amazing. I can't believe that you live in such a gorgeous place and you don't wanna go out and do things, but what a shame. You live amongst all of that natural beauty and you choose to stay at home or in a hotel room or motel room what an incredible shame. What a wasted, wasted opportunity to really enjoy your life outside the house. My trick. So the most wet, busiest time in life. Yeah, I don't have to big have to do about weekends. I guess most people work nine to five Monday to Friday, right? Cooking or something like that. And then you get your weekends off. So this is why, this is why, this is why most people, and there's nothing wrong with that. I work a fucking office job for so long. This is why people are so busy on weekends because most people have to go weekends off and work Monday to Friday. I get it. I get it. I'm just bitchy because I'm hungry. The minute I eat, I'll be, be fucking not bitchy. Watch. In 400 meters, turn right onto Boulevard Rene Lemequest, Times Square City, Montreal. I actually like really want more of that on my hand. I had one guy like. My one friend, like, well, if you're hungry, why don't you cook? Um, yeah, why don't you? Simple solution. Because I don't want to. Hey, there you go. Renee Lemequest, Signs for City, Montreal. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. Continue. Renee Lemequest. So Joseph Fondelberg says, Nads pulled a bait and switch. She thought he was going to lay it down, but he probably took her money and left. Probably. <laughs> probably and that's why she's in a crappy mood but you know what I don't feel sorry for you foodie I really don't like because like I've said before in many reacts life is about choices you make bad choices then you have bad experiences you make good choices you'll have good experiences and you keep making the wrong choice each and every time you almost make a point to make a bad choice Maybe just to have something to rage at. I don't know. 
but your life is about the choices you make and you're choosing to have a crappy life in every way. For 800 meters. Oh my God, I'm downtown. I'm gonna fuck over. I swear to God. shade of green they're waiting for it. Yeah, in Quebec you can't turn right on no fucking. You can't turn right on a red light here. I <laughs> keep forgetting that. If I ever travel, I'm not driving in your fucking. Like, I'm gonna take public or taxis everywhere. Cause like, even just. Oh, fuck me. Even just learning the rules of the road is so stupid. Take the next left onto Avenue des Canadiens de Montreal, then turn left onto Rupio. Montreal the Canadiens. Montreal Canadiens. Turn left onto Rupio, Quebec 112. In 300 meters, your destination will be on the left. Oh, yeah, now I gotta find a parking spot to watch. I didn't know it was going to film. Do not judge me. Okay. There's a parking spot right there. Oh, there's like a sketchy massage place too. <sighs> if I can't find parking, I'm honestly just gonna starve and go home. Like I can't be all of this shit. I cannot be all of this. This fucking shit. Can I park here? Yeah, you know, this person brought up a very good point. Something that I was just thinking. VIP peasant cheeseburgers with pickles rule says she's been to Montreal so often she should kind of know how it is there. Yeah, I agree. She's made frequent trips to Montreal. I mean, as you travel back and forth, you kind of notice how things are. So why is she surprised about it being busy on a Friday night? I mean, she had to notice that before, right? 
uh, all the people and everything looking busy, I would think that would be something I would take notice of if I'm driving back and forth to one place so often. I'm going to pull my dress down. Yes, please do. Please pull your dress down. All you evil people on Twitter. So <laughs> there are pictures on Twitter that everybody's doing that thing of if I saw it, you have to see it too. Can I just say I hate that rule? You evil people on Twitter passing around those pictures of Foodie in her dress, bending mm -hmm. over. You guys suck for that. Seriously, like you shouldn't subject people to that kind of torture. That's just wrong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you should see my dress. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. I'm, oh, I suppose I'm not going to pay for my food. Fucking moron, I am. God damn it. Everyone can see my ass bending over, but I don't care. Yeah, we know you don't care. As a matter of fact, you make a point to bend over and show your butt as many times as possible. I think you have an exhibitionist fetish, Miss Foodie. I really do. I think you have an exhibitionist fetish where you either A, you have that, or maybe other people in your audience have that and they're throwing you some money on the side because you make a point to not wear underwear, bend over in front of the camera or flash your punani at everybody. Can I just say on behalf of lots of other people, we don't want to see it. We didn't ask to see it. I look at your chat. I don't see anybody in your chat asking to see it. Really, you should put some underwear on and wear appropriate clothes because this is YouTube. This is not an adult form. This is not some, you know, adult chat site. Ain't nobody asking to see your punani or your tatas. Keep those things where they belong, covered up. And they shouldn't be hanging out of your dress. They wouldn't be hanging out of your dress if you wore underwear. Girl, what's wrong with underwear? Is there a reason why you don't wear underwear? I wear underwear. Lots of other women wear underwear. Why can't you wear underwear? Especially if you're out. And I could be wrong. It looks like it's kind of a windy day. Rule of thumb, if you're a woman and you're going out and it's kind of windy outside, you wear underwear and you make sure that your dress is a long enough length that if you bend over, that nothing is showing. Ladies, ladies in the chat, when you buy a dress, do you or do you not do that test before you leave the store where you do the bend over test? You bend over and if you can feel a breeze from behind, that dress is too short. Yes or no, you do that. Because I do that, I do that. Just to make sure it's not too short, do the bend over test. If you can feel a breeze where there should not be a breeze, that means it's too short. No. Oh, no. I'm fucking starving. Hi, guys. Sorry.
go on. Hold on a minute. She looks really, really mad if he's standing in that line. <laughs> she looks really ticked off that she's got to stand in line. God forbid if Foodie Beauty, the celebrity on YouTube, has to stand in line for food. That's just improper. Foodie should just be able to walk in. Everybody part ways like, like Moses parting the sea and let her just be first. I want to be Montreal, if you weren't so focused on putting your face in the camera all the time, if you had actual friends, you could put the camera away, have actual friends, go out and have a great time. You know, your problem is you're so focused on the camera and putting your face in the camera. So, you know, you, you I got to get that rage in. I, I got to do something interesting for my channel and for the reaction channels. Even though I hate them, I got to do something interesting because there's nothing else interesting to talk about because all I do is eat bitch all the time. If you put the camera away and lived more away from the camera than you do on the camera, you would have a much more fabulous time. Mine looks like it's moving. Barely. There's like 30 people ahead of me. Should I wait? Seriously? Well, you did say you're starving. So wouldn't a starving person wait in a line for food if they're really starving? Montreal more than you're in Ottawa these days. So how much do you hate it? Uber eats to my car. I wish. Do you think you can? I wasn't. He's so freaking. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Coffee was asking me, he's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm still in the city. I'm trying to get food. And he's like, where are you with? I'm like, I'm By the way, Foodie, this is just an observation. It's kind of rude to put other people on camera when they didn't give consent to be on camera. I know it's a public setting, but it's just still rude. It's still really rude. You're there to get food. You should turn your camera off and get your food. But you you keep putting the camera on other people, like that gentleman behind you, just rude. They're just in there to get food. They're not there to be on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, 
quarantines, I know. It's always lit, though. Well, that's the problem. It's always, always lit. I want to show our mom starting. Okay. See, she she's putting other people on camera. That's just not nice. It's not nice. That is so not nice. You can put the camera on her face and nowhere else and protect everybody else's privacy, but Foodie just has to show everybody, look, I'm in a public place, everybody. Yeah, but you're not being nice about it. But I'm going back to the villa. Yes. And not soon enough, I miss my cats and I want to squeeze my cats anymore. Don't even say that. You don't miss your cats. You don't take care of your cats when you are there. You ignore them. You put your face in the camera and you eat and you really don't do much of anything with them other than push them off to the side and say, no, no, don't take my food. You don't care about your cats. I don't even know why you say that. You don't care about them. I need to go home guys. I didn't reserve a hotel in Los Angeles. We're selling 600 a night on weekends. No thanks. There are. By the way, foodie, just an observation. Those filters don't work so well when you're that close. So all those little pictures that you've been taking with your chin all nice and pointed and, and that's a that is such a dead giveaway that using a face contour filter is when you've got the face from the forehead down to the cheekbones it's wide but then it comes down almost to a point in the chin that is such a dead giveaway that that is a contour filter and as you can see guys right there there's a lot more going on than just a pointy chin i'm just saying like 30 so I hope they don't have kale tomatoes I hate when places have kale tomatoes no I'm not saying that recipe Slow wine is not even fucking worse. Delta Mills is so good. Delta Mills. I do hate the stuff you're getting. I'm waiting here and I don't even know what their menu is. Maybe I should check online. Oh, yeah. Oh, the wine is too huge. I'm going to pass out. I'm so fucking hungry. The wine. I think Foodie hates public places because she can't act the fool like she does in private. Honestly, she's got to be around other people. She can't act stupid. So she hates public places. Plus, like I said, people can see how she really looks. She can't disguise how she looks behind multiple filters. People can actually see her and interact with her. She's completely fine being online where she can control the narrative and she can fool people with the filters. But in public, you can't do that. It's huge in back of me too. I'm not in a good mood because I'm hungry and I have to wait 10 hours just to get something to fucking eat around here. Fody, this live stream went on for a total of 40 minutes. You've not been waiting 10 hours. Stop exaggerating. Like, I'm seriously tempted to just go home. Oh, yeah, I'm not fucking waiting, though. No. Sorry. Excuse me, 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 excuse me
While just being rude, pushing through people to get to the door. Rude. <laughs> I'm fucking out. I swear to God. I cannot fucking deal with this shit. Can I go pee in here? What about this place? Any better? <laughs> Anywhere. Oh, I saw a seat. <laughs> That's nice. I don't even know what the line is like here. <laughs> it's not as bad. Somebody said I'm really pretty. Oh. She went, baby. No. I want a fucking photo. I'm getting ten photos. I don't want to be here. There is a perfect face right there. <laughs> and you know what? I like that face. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to use that for my thumbnail. Yeah, because that's the per that's that's basically the face of a toddler who's angry because she can't get what she wants. That's the perfect face. That pretty much sums up this live stream. <laughs> Let's keep going. She's trying another fast food line. Foodie, it's it's Friday night. People are out doing things. There's going to be lines everywhere. Do you not even remember what it's like to go out and have a life, especially on a weekend? This is what happens. Every place is busy. <laughs> There's some McDonald's drive through I tried. Like the drive through was closed back at Orange Tulip, and now that I'm all the way downtown again, there's who knows where the nearest McDonald's is. <laughs> well, that's what you get for chasing peen around Montreal. This is the price you pay. You chase the peen around, then if you get hungry, this is what you got to deal with. It's so hot too. Can you Uber eat to your car and buy some water? You don't want a salad. <laughs> the wine at the shawarma place is even worse. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Should I wait? I'm going to go 
She wasn't in food line, decided she didn't want to wait, went to another per place, didn't want to wait there. Then she's complaining about having to pee. Shouldn't you have taken care of that first before standing in a line? <laughs> you really don't know how to do social life at night, do you, foodie? Hungry and thirsty. Because it's two in the fucking morning, number one. Ah, uh, starfish life is just so hard, isn't it, Foodie? <laughs> Go home so I can eat some more my apples. <laughs> well, the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry. I don't want to keep looking around for food and driving around Montreal. Like, I hate it. I hate driving around, like, in Montreal. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so you know what? I'm tired for bitching. <laughs> it's a time to move on. Let's let's see what the comments say, because you guys know I love the comments section. Ruby Doozy says Chantal's phone allows her to completely disengage. Ah, I can't talk this morning. It's really early. Chantal's phone allows her to completely disengage from the world and the flesh and blood humans in it. What damage does it do to a person's mind to spend 100% of their life living in a digital fantasy world? Well, you're seeing the result of that. When you spend 8 to 10 hours a day minimum every day, just being in front of your camera, living in a bubble, you don't know how to be around actual people in real life. And then you get mad and cranky because the world doesn't revolve around you. Ashish Korowski says, Enjoying your time with Koki? Chantal is the fly and Natter is the poop she landed on. True love. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for. And if you pay for a crackhead, you get to deal with what comes with the crackhead. Summer Flower says, I'm legit hungry. You weigh 400 plus pounds and you have literally never gone hungry for a day in your life. Nope. Nope. Somebody who's 473 pounds is not starving. Definitely not starving. Lady D says, poor BBJ was crying in Pizza's room at 10.45 p.m. because she was hungry. Oh, oh, the poor baby. Foodie never missed a meal. Buy your cat some food. See, that's the part that really, really, really pisses me off. The fact that she has all that money and she makes sure that she gets fed, but yet her Cats go without food. That is completely unacceptable. She wouldn't have to spend that much and she could have those babies stocked in food. And they would never go hungry. Never. Uh, Tropics says, I've never seen her rage for food before. It's hilarious. Yeah, it is because she's like a toddler that can't get her way. Chrissy knows it all, says, why is she raging about food? Skip a meal, you won't die. No, it might actually do her some good to skip a meal or two. Considering that with her meals, the amount of calories that she eats for one meal could easily do any of us like the entire day. Emma S. says, Chantal, you look like you were fighting back tears while waiting in that queue. In the time it took you to drive and queue for your shawarma, you probably have ordered and eaten your food from Orange Jewel. Exactly. Just, just stand, you know, it's just stand in a line. If you're really hungry, you'll stand there. You'll deal with it. Uh, Lisa, Lisa says, this is the, actually the longest time I've ever watched you standing. 
Yeah, that might be another reason why she hated standing in line, maybe because it was painful. I mean, she is carrying a lot of weight on her legs and her back, I'm sure it was killing her, had to be killing her. Uh, Kelly Rayborn text says, I can't imagine always going to places alone, never having any girlfriends and definitely no men want to be seen in public with her. It's actually a very sad existence. Walking around talking to strangers on a phone is not having friends. I'm embarrassed for her. Yeah, exactly. She's in Montreal. If she had actual friends versus guys she's always chasing around and paying for, she would have a much better time. But she keeps insisting on living in the digital world rather than the real world. Athena says, picture it. Montreal, 2022. 400 plus pound woman waddling around with a horrible wig on whilst talking into her phone at 1 a.m. sets a picture. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, Moon says, does this look like a woman who just randomly meets strangers online? She can barely stand in a line to get food around real human beings. This is a really big problem. <laughs> yeah, for all these strange guys that she's meeting, where is her social confidence? Where's it at? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of confused, Foodie. Help me out here. You said in the past that the reason why you like Natter so much is because you felt comfortable with him seeing you naked. But yet you're jumping at all these other guys with no problem. So make it make sense. Uh Janet Whitman says, does anyone else remember when she said she wouldn't mind if Natter was in prison because he wouldn't cheat on her, with women at least? Her, Didi, and Natter are hooking up to make it the best few nights she has left, mark my words. Yeah, everybody's waiting for this court date that's supposed to be right around the corner. Don't know if it'll happen, don't know what will happen when that happens, but everybody's keeping their fingers crossed that something does happen. Uh, Jay says she's absolutely terrified of being around people and having them stare at her. Yeah, and that's part of the reason why she hates lines. She doesn't want to be seen in public. Uh, Nina Palmieri says nothing is more satisfying than seeing you crumble when confronted with the outside world. You have absolutely no idea how to navigate the simplest reality-based tasks. You just throw a fit and run like a coward. You truly are. I love it. Yeah, foodie in the real world just don't seem to mix very well. Uh, F.U. says, y'all know why she was miserable in that line. The men weren't falling at her feet and telling the gut how beautiful she is. Y'all know this happens everywhere she goes. She's not used to people not paying attention to her. Well, I've said it before. Foodie's life off of YouTube is completely out of control. There's no structure. There's no discipline. I think that's why she likes YouTube so much, because YouTube is the only place where she can have some sort of control. And she likes to be arrogant with it and egotistical and threaten people with blocking. You know, outside of YouTube, she doesn't have control at all. April J says, couldn't she have just gone to a convenience store and got some snacks until she got home? That's what I would have done. I said that earlier. There are gas stations. There are convenience stores. If you're starving and there are lines everywhere, why not do that? Why not do that? Let's see. Lex says, oh, look, people out on a Friday night having fun with real friends, not imaginary ones. Not Chantal feeling super awkward because she doesn't have one real friend to spare. Well, you go out in public, you got to deal with other people going out and having a good time on a Friday night. Let's see. Catherine H says, how does one starve when they never stop eating? That's a good question. How do you starve when you never stop eating, foodie? You're always eating something. Uh, 
Uh, Freya says, Chantal, look at all these people walking around. What are they doing? Why does everyone go out on a weekend? Answer, they are enjoying their weekend after a long week at work, having fun with family and friends, romantic dates, etc. Why are you there, Chantal, to be stood up and be miserable? Must suck having no friends. Well, if she didn't look at women as being competition and enemies, you know, and if she didn't have such a bad attitude, she might have some friends to go out with and enjoy life. But she's just so hyper-focused on chasing the men around and paying their way. Miss Power says, oh, sugar, you're completely socially inept. Bless your famished heart. Yeah, so Miss Big, Big Beautiful Me over there, she can't deal with just a social setting for just a few minutes. That's that actually it is pretty sad. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Amber F saying, so playing the celebrity to her fans. Yep. <laughs> and the problem is she's not a celebrity. She's not a celebrity at all. It's just everybody in the chat saying the same thing. You know, the people are out having a good time. This is what normal people do. People saying she's uncomfortable in public. Uh, another one says, you don't just hang out in a parking lot, ma'am. Yeah, she does it all the time. So go to a fast food joint, park in the parking lot with her little food tray and eat right there. So, you know, you hung out in parking lots, foodie, more than you should. Uh, Heather Jarrell says, if you hate Montreal so much, stop going there for these imaginary dates. Ain't no one believing these guys are pouncing to get in your snatch. And as pissy as you are, we know damn well you didn't get none. Nope. Nope. How can you get good booty and be a complete B afterwards? I mean, that just says it was bad or you didn't get any, period. Let's see, more people talking about the food. Oh, yeah, so this this happened. I heard this happen. I got, I, I finally got some time last night to be online. I heard this happened. Uh, K2 says, this bitch is currently on Roman L. Roman's live stream singing, dancing, and talking to the chat while she's driving. Yeah, distracted driving, foodie. You're going to get pulled over one day for doing that. You're not going to like what they tell you. Oh, here we go. Maxime Trem says, I live in Montreal, and the rest of Canada is jealous on how beautiful and inclusive the city is. The people in Montreal are the best. So stay your boring Ottawa Merseille tabernacle. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody in Montreal calling you out, foodie. And you know what? Even though I've never been to Montreal, just seeing what I've seen of Canada. Canada looks like an amazing place with so much to do. But foodie is Canadian, and she doesn't want to experience all that Canada has to offer. She just wants to experience all of what Postmates and Grubhub have to offer. It's just sad. Uh, Jessica says, if you don't like city life, stay out of the way. You just have no patience and are a brat who throws a fit if you don't get your way. Yeah, you know what the funny thing is? Didn't she talk about living in Montreal at one point? She says she wanted to live there. So if she can't deal with Montreal on a weekend, now how is she going to deal with living there? It just It's just not possible. Uh, let's see. 
Fuck it says, you hate Montreal, but you just can't stay away, huh? Get a grip. No, she can't stay away because that's where Natter is. <laughs> Asthma says, is that filter on or off? You know, I think it was halfway on. It's just because she had her face so close to the camera, the filter really couldn't lock on and do its job. It, it definitely wasn't doing her any favors tonight. Grant says, you got pulled over, didn't you? Yeah, so everybody, the, the thing on Twitter, I saw a clip, it looked like the police pulled her over, but really couldn't tell. And she kept looking out the back window. You saw like some blue lights in the background. You really couldn't see. So that's it for the comments. Uh, I got some other foodie stuff to catch up on. Hope you guys have enjoyed this React video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching today. And I might be doing a live chat a little bit later. Uh, I just got some early morning stuff to do. So thank you again for being here and please have a good one. Bye-bye.